Hey there people, it's Fresh Mark Sims with another fresh review aka Zest for Life. Today I'll be checking out fragrances for the whole year round through from winter, autumn, summer and spring. Um, just selecting some of my favourites just so you know that you can pick uh, two fragrances per season let's say and uh, have a great time all year round without spending too much. Just um, getting you used to the idea of a capsule collection uh, so you don't spend too much money but you have your favorite favorite fragrances on hand all year round so let's get straight into it with one of my favorites by van cleef and arpels um, ambre imperial by the collection extraordinaire i said the wrong many times so i just uh, read it off the bottle um, very sweet effervescent sparkling opening almost like a blood orange opening with the top it has a leathery uh slightly woody and um uh I, would i say sweaty amber because it'll go go straight into your skin become very resinous sweet and uh it would almost have a leathery uh blood orange sweetness so it has almost like a it attaches to the skin very well, let's say, in that it lasts for about nine hours, uh, projecting about seven hours, but quite close to the skin. It's quite gentlemanly scent, despite being very sweet and playful in its bright opening. Um, it develops into a very resinous, sweet, slightly leathery and um, gourmand amber, let's say. Uh, very rich and opulent. Definitely one to check out for winter. Um, another one from the winter collection is... Um, let me get this because I didn't write it down. Over here. Tom Ford's Soleil Brulant. This is a very uh, nice cardamom scent. But it has a sweet honey and orange blossom note which keeps it very sweet, like a like creme brulee, I would say. Uh, that's the first thing that I um, recognised when I, when I read the label. Maybe it influenced my opinion, but it has a very gourmand, sweet cardamom. The green facet is there, but it's uh, sweetened by the honey and orange blossom to an almost, almost pistachio-like level. It also has a, a leather note and some resins, but it's almost like a burnt resin, which is um, it's, it's interesting mixing the honey with the burnt resin. It provides a very sweet yet uh, resinous uh, and burnished finish to this. Uh, it's not a natural cardamom. It's, it's natural in its opening, in its green opening, but then the sweetness of the honey makes it almost like an otherworldly uh sparkling deep red sunset so this reminds me of sunset and it was in the fragrances for a sparkling amber sunset but i thought i'd have to mention it one more time for the winter fragrances tom ford's soleil brulant very sweet very nice going straight into the autumn fragrances barbour edp is a fantastically soft sweet and uh natural perfume when i spray it on me let me spray it on me. Spray it here. okay so you get the rose you get the sandalwood is bulgarian bulgarian rose in here um makes it sweet soft slightly um powdery the sandalwood is creamy. There are some uh, green notes in here with leather as well. Almost like a suede leather note, which is uh, mixes very nicely with the Bulgarian rose and sandalwood. Definitely one to check out for its airy green freshness, uh, but it does rose in a very masculine way. I think this is one of the most masculine rose scents out there. That can be easily wearable by any man. So definitely check out Barbo EDP if you are kind of shy about going into florals. But you want something that's masculine yet has a touch of romance with it. English style romance and that sort of 
uh, classical feel to it of the English countryside. Uh, Barbour has that um, light, um, light powdered Bulgarian rose with suede leather and slight green finish to complete that feel that you are looking for if you want that outdoorsy feel. Barbour, Barbour EDP. And on to the summer selection. D600 by Carno Barcelona, another cardamom scent with iris vanilla, a touch of vetiver. It has some sweet vanilla in the base. Um, the black pepper in the top note uh, makes it a little bit punchy. Uh, I've covered this earlier in other episodes, uh, but I think that this is definitely worth mentioning for summer because it's one of my favorite. And coupled with, um, I was thinking either. Jardin exclusive right here or Vetiver Sensual for summer. Now I put Vetiver Sensual for my autumn selection because I think it's quite crisp and refreshing with mint and vanilla orchard in the middle. It opens with some zesty and juicy orange which makes it crisp refreshing and revitalizing. The vetiver in the base reminds me a little bit of um, Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, but it's not as sour and dry. It's definitely uplifted by the mint and green note from that green, fresh, herbaceous mint. Um, if I was to spray it one more time. Yes, the green, fresh, herbaceous mint uh, lifts the vetiver from being too dry. So... Jardin Exclusives is my choice for summer because it always reminds me of a summer celebration. Getting into it, it has a very nice floral note, very nice uh, jasmine and iris white floral with creamy violet uh, mid note which shines through the opening along with fruity notes of Jolly Rancher Apple. So this is a very um, slightly synthetic um, juicy, crunchy, sour apple note, let's say, similar to uh, an apple lollipop or the like, sour apple lollipop. So it's mixing the synthetic sweet apple with caramel, uh, with white floral notes, realistic white floral notes of jasmine and violet. And then you get that caramel that just breaks through and really splits the divide between the synthetic apple and realistic floral notes, bringing it into some more na natural and slightly salty ambiguous in the middle. So it's uh, first very sweet, then floral, then um, um, almost tangy and sour and resinously sweet th with the caramel. And then those florals draw down and uh, reside with the saltiness of the ambiguous that takes you to a slight creamy base of sandalwood but it does have i feel that um although although it's not listed i feel that there is some kind of ambrox in here but maybe it's the mixture of the dry down of the uh, jasmine and the the jasmine and the violet but also the man I, ca I can't trace it i feel that there's some ambroxin in here uh, but i can't pinpoint it out but definitely very creamy soft sweet and celebratory with the opening blast of sour playful and fruity apple note so definitely check this one out for summer it's gonna blow you away with its uh, crazy uh, natural yet sweet flavors definitely a celebratory fragrance for that reason that it turns heads so the next one i have is from the spring collection now we have three in the navy for something salty fresh and vanilla with aquatic notes vanilla and um sea mineral notes and i think it has juniper in it well, let me just um, remember what is the fruity note yes it has juniper branch with vanilla and aquatic notes so this is quite simple salty sweet 
fresh, green, aquatic, and revitalizing, similar to Versace Dylan Blue, no, Versace Dylan Blue um, is more aquatic and fresh, but not as vanilla, uh, similar to uh, Versace Blue Jeans, but it has a vanilla note in, uh, in its revitalizing characteristic. So this is a springtime uh, vanilla option for those who think that vanilla can be too cloying in summer uh, or spring. Definitely check out this and the salty aquatic notes will mingle with any sort of sweat or anything you do have and put a sweet, uh, fresh vibe on it. So this is definitely a refreshing perfume for a great top up and also a great one for going out if you want to be revitalized on the first spritz before going out on a very hot spring day. Hopefully those days come soon because we had a few storms, but whatever. Fingers crossed with the weather. Always stay hopeful. The next one is Sicily by Mansura. This is, I don't want to say sissy, by the way. <laughs> I almost always say that. Um, so fruity blast opening of mandarin. There's pineapple. There's apple. Um, very juicy, very fresh, very sharp. Uh, we get some, oh wait, yeah, we do get the same, we get the same kind of jasmine in here, but it's not mixed with as much violet. And I think that there's an almost um, raspy base of uh, sour, sweet, and a sharp ac um, acidic fruits that make a general fruity note in this perfume that really separates it from the rest of the Mansura lineup. Sicily by Mansura has the most fruity profile. Uh, this is the uh, number one. Uh, then we get something like a uh, Jardin Exclusive, which makes this fruity floral with caramel. Um, and then we get um, our final one, which is just super fresh. Now this has um, Wild Python, Wild Python by Mansura has White Peach and Bergamot. It also has a very nice orange blossom note. So orange blossom mixed with white peach. Ooh. <coughs> oh, I smelled that pretty close. Orange blossom with white peach produces something, uh, a white floral that is very um, engulfing in its uh, plumage, the jasmine and the white floral of orange blossom, the ciliage is massive, and I think that's what makes the ciliage so large in this fragrance and makes it a great summertime fragrance, because first it engulfs you in the jasmine and orange blossom, uh, and then you can smell the freshness, zinginess of bergamot, which is very realistic and long lasting, uh, mixed with a slight fruity, um, almost apricot note of white peach. So that's what keeps this perfume so lively and refreshing. It also has a note of galbandium in it, which is shared in Versace Blue Jeans, one of my uh, favorite perfumes for the price, actually. It's a fantastic spring perfume and i didn't put it in the list because i mentioned it so many times that uh if you haven't got it by now for such a blue jeans get it for about eight pound when it's down because uh that is going to last you all springtime and nobody would say you're not fresh with versace blue jeans never smells cheap always smells great fantastic well next one uh so we've gone through the spring the summer the autumn and finally the last one, because I forgot about it in the autumn, Calumat by, um, who was it by again, um, Arabian Oud Perfumes, uh, what is it, uh, this is one of those central London stores where, uh, there's two main ones and they think they're the boss of all Oud Perfumes, so I had to check them out, uh, it was, yes, Arabian Oud Perfumes and Calumat was the best one that I found in store and I thought this is fantastically uh, fruity and dry wood oody it, it's got that so it's got the dry let's, let's spray it I think we're over spraying here but uh, 
just get it wafting in the air. So the first thing that hits you is uh, the honey note, which is in the middle. Whereas at the same time, it has a juniper berry note, which is almost like blueberry. So you get a blueberry and honey mix, which is very fruity, delicious, uh, resinous, sweet. Uh, and then you get the cashmere wood oud note. So it's like a dry oud wood note, which isn't too bitter, but it's very uh, woody, natural, uh, smooth, slightly uh, creamy like sandalwood, but more of a dry wood like Naga Motha. Uh, slightly, um, as I said, bitter, but the dryness of it is not overbearing because it has a creamy facet mixed with the honey and juniper berries, as I said before. To those are the main three standout features of this, but the way that this is blended is um, very nice. But I think the longevity of it, I get about six hours and it's not as much as I would have thought a perfume at this price would cost. Because you get this for about £85 and uh, I've had perfumes from Givenchy that last about, you know, Givenchy Gentleman. Um, any of the line last about seven hours longevity and this is just about one hour short of that so uh, it's good longevity if you want uh, to wear it at an event or going out but don't expect it to last all night I would actually uh, I mix this myself uh, Calumat with um, K Eau de Parfume to produce something that I call K Oud so I do um, uh, three sprays of this for every sp five sprays of K Eau de Parfume to produce something with even more juniper berries uh, mixing with the honey and a denser woody note to mix the dry oud note with the Nagamotha green dense wood to produce something tropical, exotic, spicy, sweet and fresh. But I'll get into K Oud later on if you'd like me to. So these are all the perfumes that I have been reviewing today. We got the summer perfumes, we got your autumn perfumes, which are a little bit sweet, sensual, natural, uh, fresh, green, slightly minty, and your winter perfumes, which are usually quite resinous, warming, and comforting. So that was my selection for perfumes all year round. Uh, which ones would you pick if you had two or three to pick each season let me know what you think in the comment section stay free and stay fresh